Well, I'm back again. The next step is I use a collection contouring kit. And all I do is I use the same brush I use for me foundation. Go into the brown side and you go here. Yeah. Here, 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 and here. And then I use a smaller brush, which is just a brush I found, and I always put definition on the down the side of my nose. And I put a little bit here. And a little bit here. It looks harsh now, but the trick is use a I will call these kabuki brushes, really hard brush, and blend it. As you see now, I've created definition. I've made my cheekbones a little bit lighter my nose a little bit smaller and my temple and my cheek you can see I've always done this it just makes me make it make makes me look good and it makes me feel better right next thing I use is I use a collection soft glow blusher I've always color corrected it's just a term that makeup artists used years ago we do is get a little bit and you pop it on there. You get another bit and you pop it down here. And what that does, you just because your foundation it always makes you feel fresh and some people like dark everyone has a different tint like mine is very light so I need to add color to make it look normal same thing as before get this brush and you blend it in my natural light I can see it's a bit it's a bit too red so what I use is a YBF neutral powder I haven't found this anywhere else except for YBF, but I don't know they do still do it in this country. So all I do is get the same brush, and I just, if you think all my makeup's a little bit heavy, I just aim it. That's all I do. Right. That's what I do. And same thing before, just to make sure there's no loose powder everywhere. As you can see, my nose is not quite the way I want it. Mm. So, mm. Next thing I do is I use a blusher on my cheeks. I use a Lebra. Le, Le, I've always used a L'Oreal Paris brusher and it's a colour 163. I used to go like that, but I've been told that can give you lines. So all I do is I find 
just do that. Just above your cheekbone. Always remember, less is better, but you can always put more on, you can't take more off. See? It's not great, but you can see I've created the definition there. So use the same kabuki brush and blend it out. Blend it out. Right. As you can see, it's a little bit thing but your cheeks you all you always have cheap it just makes you feel good next thing I do is I take and take my my you can see my scalp and I use the white one and all I do is I go along my nose and there There. Now. And the T zone there. Same again. Kabuki mask. Blend it. Always blend. I've seen so many girls, even normal girls, put too much makeup on and it just looks like they've got too much makeup on. Well, that's how I do my my scalp, my face scalping. Definition around my jaw, my highlights. I hope it helps, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Well, this is the last part of my how to do makeup for for the day look. Right, I've got three things I use. I use a MAC lip, lip pencil, and this is mm, I'm not sure what number this is. I got this from this came from eBay from America, so. It's a good pencil, don't get me wrong. Wanna do it? As you can see, all I've done is just outline my lips roughly. Then I use just a normal, I always call it a cutting in brush. And it does just soften the edges. And this is a Charles Fox number no. six brush. I did have a lip deficient brush, but when I was up in London last week, last time I actually lost my makeup, uh, my lip brush.
Now, the lipstick I was using is a lasting colour number 13 from Not Sure. It's an old, it's a very old lipstick. And what I do is I get the... I always put my, my lipstick on with a brush. As you can see, it's a little bit fierce today. So what I do is I, I blot it, and then take this pencil again, this brush again, sorry. Some strange reason, my lips are not coming out the way I wanted them today. I'll do a better makeup for my lips. Mm. Right. Mm. See. Well, that do for me. And all I do then, is I get a number, well this is an eyeshadow, but this is a really, I don't know what colour it is, it's like a gold colour. And I always put it on my lips, because it covers up a multiple scenes with your top lip, and it looks pretty cool as well, I like it. You don't have to do that touch, but I always do. Um, Mix. Last thing you do, or last thing I do, is I get my lip gloss. And I use a Rimmel London on my lip gloss. Uh, 6112. Anyway, that's my makeup done for the day. I'll get dressed and then I'll show you how I do my hair and we'll take it from there. <laughs> 